Now this piece of information that I'm about to share may be TMI for some, but beneficial for others. So what I want you to do is look at the title of the video. If you can go the rest of your life not knowing this piece of information about me, don't click on the video. For the rest of you, go ahead and enjoy while I take you down booby lane. So in the year 2012, I got a pair of silicone implants installed in my chest. Why did I get the implants, you ask? I'll tell you. Well, I work out and I eat healthy. And when you work out and eat healthy, one of the side effects is getting lean. And when you're lean, you have low body fat. And we all know that breast tissue is made of body fat. And my boobs, they, they did, they, they started to, to, they lost a little bit of volume. And you know, at that time I was single, so I was hopping and bopping in the streets. And I didn't want to walk around with a flat chest. Now, ain't nothing wrong with a flat chest because I am rocking a flat chest right now. In 2012, I wasn't thinking, are the implants gonna cause me harm? Are they gonna cause me discomfort? I didn't think about the upkeep because when you get implants, you have to replace them every five to 10 years or when they give you some sort of issue. I didn't even think when I got the implants was one gonna be here and one gonna be down here. I wanted the implants because I thought that the implants was gonna give me a better shape to my body. So I remember the day that I got them like it was yesterday. I remember when I got home, the first chance that I got to unwrap them and look at my boobs, I instantly hated them. Which is strange because 95% of women, when they get breast implants, they love them. Everyone that I talk to that has breast implants, they love their implants. So I'm one of the very few that was just unimpressed with what I got. When I envisioned myself getting implants, I thought that they were going to be small, perky little boobies. I didn't have to wear a bra. I can wear any shirt, any outfit that I wanted. And child, what I got was a larger version than what I had. And when I say a larger version of what I had, I naturally had unperky boobies. You know, they was a little saggy, they were a little saggy, you know what I'm saying? So I thought that if you put an implant in, that they would perk them up. No, 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 no. When you put an implant in saggy boobies, they just turn into bigger, saggier boobies. So ladies, that's a tip. If you already have saggy boobies, if you just put implants in under the muscle or on top of the muscle, it's just gonna be a bigger version of what you already have. You have to pay for the additional work, such as a lift, or if the pocket is too big, which in my case, I'm assuming my pocket was too big, they can go inside and make a smaller pocket to make the boobs sit higher on the chest and more Fixed. So with that said, I expressed my concern to the doctor. I was like, doctor, I thought I was going to have these small perky boobies. These, these are humongous. And, and they still look a little sacky. So I expressed my concern to the doctor. He let me know that if you want more smaller, more perkier boobies, you're going to need a lift. So I was like, well, doc, how much is this lift in addition to the money that I already paid you for these implants? He let me know the amount, and I was like, you know what? I'm not even a homeowner yet, and you, and you want me to pay that much on these? To... It was too much. So if I wanted to do high-impact activities or running, I would have to wear two bras. And when you wear two bras, it, it cuts in your neck, and it was cutting in my back. It just wasn't worth it. So... I lugged those things around for five whole years. And finally, I just said, I want them out. I was tired of being uncomfortable. I knew that I didn't want to embark on this journey again. I didn't want a new set of implants. I didn't want to lift. So I got them out. And you know what? I feel great. Now, I was a little hesitant on telling you guys about this because, you know, people can be judgmental. They think that if you get one thing done, that you've had millions of things done. And I haven't. Now, I am 100% natural. Now ladies, before you embark on any type of plastic surgery, please do your research. Sometimes we as women are hard on ourselves. It's a lot of pressure on us to look good, isn't it? And you know what? The older I've gotten, I've come to realize that there's so much more in life than just having a nice perky set of boobs and a nice big old butt. And this is just my opinion. However, if getting surgery will make you happy with your body, by all means, do what makes you happy. Because life is all about health and happiness. And only you can determine your health and happiness. I will see y'all 